hey, what's up, YouTube? Leo Shank here, host of the Extreme Full Efficient Channel. How do you like the intro Mask Ninja Edition, huh? All right, you guys are in for a hot video today, all right? Today, in this video, per the title of this video, we are going to catch some big fish. Yes, I've said it. No bullshit six inch shiner or minnow in this video, okay? <laughs> so, if you are into the big and long stuff, boy, this video may be just for you. All right, you guys may recognize the spot right behind me, right? Unless you have a real bad memory. Because <laughs> I just came here two days ago and I shot a YouTube video over here. You guys remember that one, right? The, the Eurotaco Micro. Remember that one, Z-Viber, right? If you haven't watched that video yet, all right, you are slacking, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm going to leave the link in the cards above summarizing that day two days ago when i was here i saw some beautiful and big plumpy juicy carp is swimming in the canal so the main objective of today is pretty much to do some sightseeing sightseeing sight fishing we are not here to do any sightseeing okay we're going to do some sight fishing here at the canal i'm going to give you guys a few uh tips and hints on how to properly do it all right and hopefully we're going to land some big carp all right i got my fishing rod right here with me as you guys can see man we got the net here in the bag i even got the landing mat inside this bag okay so just so that my european subs are not going to complain about this video okay so main objective catch a carp now years ago years ago here at the canal i know for a fact that there were some mirror carp over here as well if you guys know epf is a pretty big collector when it comes to all the magic carp around the area right all the way from koi's man to different mirror carp so it would be an added bonus if I were able to land a beautiful mirror carp from the canal today, I know that my chances of doing that are very, very slim. <laughs> I'm not going to jinx it, so we will see. We will, we will play along and just see what happens, all right? So let's get the fishing started. Two things I would like to emphasize before I get this video is started. As you guys can see, right, per the disclaimer in this video, there is a set of tracks on the other side that is actually abandoned. Nobody uses those tracks nowadays anymore if you're watching this video i don't want anyone to have any ideas that it is actually okay to be hanging around active tracks okay second thing i would like to emphasize in the previous video here on the channel you guys saw me kind of give three jumps right to test these woods over here and some folks were probably like well leo this thing definitely ain't gonna break on you right let me show you a little something okay check this out over here okay that right there my friends is your fat ass if you don't pay close attention to where you step right and you may be like well that is just one incident right yeah okay check this one over here right so bottom line you do have to be careful when walking around this area and make sure that you don't fall through this stuff all right anyways time to find ourselves a productive carp hole uh, i've been watching them all around here okay once i find a productive place i'm just gonna chum a little bit and we're going to get this fishing session started oh yeah this is a productive hole right over here i can see some carp kind of feeding around the area i'm gonna chum a little bit right over here and we're going to get our fishing session started right around this area Good, and then it's going to turn left in this pocket. All right, that's when we don't move. Don't move. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. He's looking for the corn, man. He's looking for the corn. Oh, that's it. 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 Did he get it? Did he get it, boy? Did he get it? No, he did not. But he was close, he was so close to getting it. He's turning around again, second round. He's looking for the corn, dude. Come on, dude. 
Oh, he turned. He turned again. Is it because he can see the hook? Wow. This beast is majestic. Too smart, huh? Maybe I'm gonna cover the tip. Haven't even caught him yet. Already got that adrenaline rush. Oh, he's back, he's back. Yeah. He saw the corn drop and he swam away. He's very easily spooked. So okay, I'm gonna drop right over there, man. Next time he circles around, I'm gonna get him. Get it, boy. Got him. Finally got him. Got him, boy. Two hours. Two hours. Oh, two hours going after this fish. This is it, man. Moment of the truth. I'm not losing this fish, bro. Uh-uh, not today. I'm not even gonna lie, I was ready to give up on this fella. You guys can see I haven't put the net in the, in the book bag because I was like, man, I'm gonna go to another spot, chum another spot. Finally, it bit two hours. I don't think it is a mirror, but that's gonna be a nice fish to start the day. Yeah, that's a chunky one. Maybe approaching 10 pounds. Easy, 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 easy. Turn, turn. All right, yeah, these guys, you got to play it easy, you know, fellas? Play it easy. Look how chunky that fella is, though. Man, probably been living in this canal forever. Nice sample. Landing it is the tricky part. Definitely don't want to force it. Fish kind of saw me, too. Easy now, easy, bro. I need to ruin some more line. There we go, boy. There we go. Woo. Uh. Hell yeah. Woo. Chunky, huh? That's what I said. I'm not going to sugarcoat it, y'all. I've been targeting this fish for the last two hours. It has been two hours between the last segment of this video and right now. From the moment that I chummed these waters, to the moment that I caught this fish. This fish is just, it is super uh, smart. I'm going to wait it real quick. I mean, give it some water out there. Let me see how much this guy actually weights, all right? Uh, let's see, let's see what we got here. We got about 9.87, but you do need to subtract the weight of the net, right? So that's about an eight pounder. I would say something like in the range of eight pounds. Boy, the carp at this canal are super, super finicky and super, super smart. All right, let me give you guys a final view of this fish and I'm going to put it back uh, in the water. All right, so check it out now. Check it out what a fatty this fish actually is, man. Two hours, okay, to catch this guy look at that two hours man but all all worth it look how chunky huh great fighter too all right put it in the net i'm just gonna lower the net down there and we're going to do a swift release of this fellow okay oh man all right lower the net here real quick let me see here all right like this the fish will be able to go yeah there it goes all right that wasn't the best release ever the fish actually went under the boardwalk but don't worry all right that fish has swam away it's strong man and you see this is how you side fish for common carp fellas that's what's up goodness gracious I was not joking when I told you guys that it took me two hours, 120 minutes to side fish that one fish. 
let me tell you all something. Carl and Alex would be proud of me right now, okay? Because it is 120 minutes of not only trying to cast the stuff close to the fish and let it bite, right? It is also 120 minutes of playing a statue. Now, what exactly do I mean by that, right? The thing is, I think this is pretty common sense that if you're out there side fishing for the common carp, you are going to be hitting spots that are pretty shallow, number one, or that the water is pretty clear, number two, or a combination of both, right? Otherwise, it wouldn't be side fishing. You need to be able to see the fish and cast right next to the fish, and that is called side fishing. The thing is, the problem is, if you are able to see the fish, depending on how finicky the fish are, they are also able to see you. Surprise, right? <laughs> this fish in particular, the ones here at this canal, they have been caught and released so many times that they are so worried of their surroundings that, believe it or not, it's harder to catch one of these than some wild trout in the wild trout streams around the area, okay? I'm just gonna tell you all like that. Anyways, that was the first fish of the day, eight pounder, beautiful sample. I'm going to chum a little bit more over here. Maybe I'm going to hop spots, but I definitely want, you know, to catch at least one carp bigger than 10 pounds today. What are these, man? Wait a moment, this is very sketchy. There ain't no bluegill. What is that? They kind of come and they attack the corn, but the hook is too big. The hook is too big. You know, ladies and gentlemen, every time I chum my corn down there, there's this one particular species of fish that gets the corn, right? Because everything loves corn. But this particular species does not look like a sunfish. As a matter of fact, it's a little bit chubby and a little bit long. I tried putting a single piece of corn on a size 10 hook, but they wouldn't really eat it. I think the hook is too big. So I'm tying a size 18 hook and I'm going to free fall some corn here and see what exactly they are. All right, let's see. Oh, got one. There we go, huh? So that's what they are. Oh, easy, 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 bro, easy. We can lose it like that. Check it out, huh? So this is what we got down there. The Notemigonus chrysoleucas, a.k.a. the Golden Shiner. I knew when I looked at them that those couldn't possibly be bluegill. Look at that. Even the body shape is just not right, right? Well, I tell you what, these little fellas are actually very good bait for flathead catfish. And I do plan on shooting a video on the channel soon. So I'm going to save this one over here as cut bait and maybe even catch a few more. There we go. A few more of these. Oh, easy, easy. Look, this is what the landing mat is for. A few more of these. And we're going to have plenty of bait for some flatheads in a future video, huh? There it goes, down it goes. And where it is, where it is. Oh, there, there it is, there it is. Get it, boy. Got it, and I got him. As my father used to tell me, fellas, you got to turn negatives into positives. The carp fishing is very, very slow right now. We have no carp cruising the chum, so instead, I just tied on a little size 18 hook and I'm catching some bait, right? Like I said, for the future flathead catfish video. Win-win situation. <laughs> Do you guys kind of feel a certain sense of deja vu here? I just shot like a segment over here like two videos ago on the YouTube channel, right? If you guys have good memory. Anyways, uh, today's carp session was quite slow. I have to say I have clearly underestimated the carp here at the canal, right? They were way more finicky and way more worried 
than I expected them to be. Needless to say, I did land an A pounder, which was not bad at all, right? But I did, I mean, I wished I landed at least one or two more for you guys in this YouTube video, right? I hope you guys picked up a little bit on the hints and tips on how to properly sight fish for the carp. It is not the easiest thing ever, but let me tell you something. It is very, very rewarding okay so if you have never attempted before and it doesn't even need to be just for the common carp right any species out there sight fishing is really really cool there's just a certain level of satisfaction right when you see the fish kind of slurp your bait and you set the hook well needless to say we did end up doing something productive for the last hour of our fish session today right i landed a bunch of golden shiner like I showed you guys here in this video, right? This is actually prime bait for flathead catfish, the Pilodictus olivaris. I have a fishing rod right behind the other camera here with a piece of golden shiner as we speak. So what do you guys think, huh? This video's theme was the common carp. Should I bring a flathead catfish video on the channel soon? Hmm? What do you think? Comment below and let me know, all right? But this is it for today so thank you very much for watching as always fellas tight lines and i'll see you guys next time